And I remember Next fighting her in, well, when was it, 2006, five, blue, six? Uh, we had a great match in the final of the there. European Championships and she's... She comes in this one. In red, Great Britain's Lauren Williams. Britain, it's Lauren Williams. Oh, what a wonderful ovation. And she is a woman for the big occasion, Sarah. She just thrives on the big stage. And here's Ruby, Lauren's little cousin. So a nice moment there for the two of them. Lauren's very, very happy, enjoying it. All her family's there in the crowd. This is where she comes alive, just like our very own Jay Jones as well. Both yeah. very similar on the big stage. Yeah, as you see, the big stage for the two Welsh wonders as Mike Harvey brings her in to this one. And it is, of course, a big opportunity now to get herself into another Grand Prix final. That big success at the Grand Prix in London last time with the gold for Williams. Remember, She's up against it here. TV. Let's hear that roar, let's hear that noise. Please welcome our referees for the third semi-final. As we see Che Young-bae in charge of proceedings here. Victoria Tame is a silver at the Pan American Championships most recently. It's a very hard competition to get onto the podium and that's precisely where both women are trying to get to just now. Now we know about Tamez, she's very quick off the spot. But Lauren Williams has one way to fight. She is probably the one way to sum up Lauren for me is relentless. With all the other things like aggression, but relentless. If it doesn't work, she keeps trying, she keeps trying, she keeps trying. There is still improvement, but again, she's still so young. We've still got two years to Tokyo. As you say, two years to Tokyo. The time ticking here at the start of the first round. The Relentless Welsh fighter batters home with a headshot and a body shot. Perfect start. And Tam is caught in the tornado straight away. It's exactly the start that Lauren would thrive on. So great work from her. It's her this is her distance. It's working for her. Perfect. Try to sneak another two shots there. Excellent punch with the left hand as well by Williams. Here, of course, if you're right handed, it's hard to throw a left hand punch. I think, that, yeah, exactly, and a lot of girls stand with their right leg forward, so you need to be able to punch with your left hand. I don't know if I would be able to do that, but practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect indeed, and it's been two picture-perfect punches from Williams. She goes for another, she gets it, and what a start. Tam is well, chasing shadows now, ten points of a gap. Williams deservedly in the lead here. Perfect start for the British fighter in red. Tamez completely playing this match all wrong. She's just given everything that Lauren likes to do, given her the distance, stayed there, stood still, and that's Lauren will just take you apart if you do that. So great work by Lauren. Tamez, you need to figure out a different game plan. Game plan not working, as you say, for the Mexican so far. That could help a little gam jump, plus the punch for Tamez. That's another reaching in punch there for Williams, who maybe has to be a little bit careful. Doesn't want to eat a front leg in the way in, but we are reaching the last 30 seconds. And if you could design a first round, there was the headshot that we were alluding to. Has to be careful of it. The Mexican has been caught in the headlights. She's been caught in the face. And she's been found wanting against Williams so far. that you mentioned 
was there for all to see. Electric start, good punch there from the Mexican on the inside. But as we end it, it's 10 points to two on the board. And if you were to write down a start for Michael Harvey and Lauren Williams, I'm sure that would be it. Exactly, that for me was perfect. Lauren Williams getting everything right no, for herself. Ten, two, and the opposition Let's standing in her distance, in Lauren's distance. This is the worst Let's place to stand. Let's so I think there's a lot of work now for Tamar to be able to claw this back. It's going to be really difficult for her because Lauren will not go back. Yeah, as you see, she will not go in the counter, even though Tamas is encountered. Williams, the whirlwind. And it is the Welsh whirlwind with the lead, more than deserved, as we move towards the start of this second round here. If you don't move against Warren Williams, you will get hit in the head quite a bit. So you need to move, you need to fake. So let's see if Tamez can start to do that a little bit more, use that ring. Yeah, as you see, we're going to the second round here. If you don't move, then Williams will move you herself. Goes again with the big punch, the body shot on the inside as well. The punch doesn't always score, but it wins you, it pushes you back, leaves a space. Pushes you back, creates that distance, and also a little bit of that aggression, putting the fear into that opposition as well, which Lauren's really, really good at. Another punch there by Lauren, left-hand punch. Far too strong at the moment for Tamez. Tamez needs to move, use the angles, use the ring. And at the moment, she's not doing that. Thought about the punch there, thought better of it. Williams overreaching, eats a head kick, as we talked about. The counter shot there from Tamez. But no scores on the board. 13 to 5. Gam John given from Che Young Bay. Williams, as you say, well, she only knows one way forward. And I think that the Mexican coach, former world champion himself, playing the card there. And this could be just about getting a rest as well. Williams, as you say, relentless. Relentless and fit. You never really see, well, you've, I don't think I've ever seen Lauren look tired. She's never we got her hands on her knees, bent over like some of the players do. She, this is how she fights. Every session, this is how she trains. Taking the training to the mat. Was that a push to the mat? That would be the contention from the Mexican coach. Gamjum was given the other way around. As you say, that fitness works prodigiously hard. And it's really hard times now for Mexico. Very, very physically strong compared to Tamez. look like a push to me but the force of Lauren and the strength of her attacking Tamez could have made it look a little bit like a push. Probably was a throw from the Mexican coach yeah. as well as much to get a rest as well but it has as the the video review panel agreeing with our expert here Sarah Stevenson as that gam jump stays on the board Williams well she stays on that front foot no surprise there 14 to 5 with 45 to go here in this second Decent headshot attempt there. Much better from Tamil. She is trying to create more action by using that attacking force. But just Lauren is just far too strong for her, I think. Well, you mentioned not moving Tamil. She's now getting a bit of footwork going there. A couple of swings and misses. And it's Much the punch from the Mexican. Yeah, nice punch there. Maybe giving her a little bit of confidence there. She also saw... She, she moved, Lauren missed, she didn't take the opportunity, but now she can see. If she moves, she can create more opportunities. Yeah, for those opportunities, well, few and far between, as Williams takes another little power punch there to make it 15 to 6. And it's been a textbook start from the Welsh Wonder here. Last 10 seconds in a perfect second round. Good back leg there from Tammy, still in the fight, but leaves herself open. Headshot lands perfect, punctuated by a punch. And a great end to the second round. Well, if it was perfect in the first round, couldn't be any better in the second. Some really good movement there by Williams as well. She wasn't just kicking in the straight line. When Tamaz did try Let's to spawn something and attack, Lauren did move and use the angle. It's nice to see as well. Both athletes are putting on the display. So she's going to go back. She's not going back in a straight line, which is perfect. Make sure you get 
Yeah, your phone goes in for our social world. Use the hashtag Kicking for Glory. And you might get your faces on the screen. I think for me, looking at Lauren's form today, I'm going to call that it's someone's going to have to really put out a bad to beat her today. Yeah, I think that's a fair call. As all the generations gathered here. You can never say you think someone's going to win because it never happens, but someone's going to have to really fight their best today to beat Lauren Williams. Yeah, Williams, the whirlwind on form. And of course, Tammy's, well, she's got a big mountain to climb now, but it's important for the British fighter to stay composed and for Tammy's to keep believing as we move into the business end of this one. Well, the head guards and the protector systems have let the fighters down here, not for the first occasion, just simply not good enough. And a change of head guard, will it be a change of fortune for Tammy's? Let's keep this energy going. We're just having some issues. Well, speaking of energy, the they board. should try and get some energy and test the protectors before they come on. Let's make Not sure it does not dip for our athletes. It's getting better. It's getting better compared to the first match. Quite a few breaks with the technology, but it is improving. Very strange how it can be perfect all day. And it has, I haven't seen one Let's perfect keep all day. Unfortunately, it happens when we are live. Exactly. Like dropping in and out and trying to drop in a few shots will be the Mexican Tamez. Victoria Tamez, the biggest challenge ever and the longest high five left hanging there for Williams. But it's the Mexican hanging on by a thread here. Third round, pivotal times, 12 points of a gap. Williams happy to hold the centre. It's a swing and a miss from Tamez. It's Williams on the move this time. And you mentioned that fitness. She's using it now with the footwork. Williams moving and bemusing. Yeah, excellent to see that footwork. I know she's been working on that, so good to see now she's got that gap. She's going to start to practice these things as well. Yeah, as you see, plenty of practice for Williams. That's the points that are pivotal at the moment. 21 to 6. Looking very good here. 30 seconds gone in this third round. And she started off yet again. Puts on the pressure. Excellent headshot. Doesn't score on the protector system. Che Young Bae giving the count. And it is laterally added on there. 22 to 6. No real steam on that punch, but it is the Mexican running out of time, running out of real estate as well. Completely caught in the headlights, I think, now, Tamez. I think for me, she has realised that Lauren's far too strong for her and almost given up a little bit which is a little bit sad to see, I think she has got more to give. Well, she does have more to give, and she takes a fortuitous kick on the deck there. I think that will be invalidated. Mike Carvey has the card up. So obviously when they both fell there, yeah, I think the referee realises, yeah. calling in the corner judges. I don't think there's any need for the video replay. Kicking on the way down and scoring isn't going to be point unfortunately for Tamez but she needs she most certainly did Renny Lizagara in the Mexican coaching corner well he will know it's going to be a lesson here can Tamez learn it on this occasion probably not the headshot is indeed wiped away Williams and she's wiped away the efforts of Tamez was again with that big headshot I think Tamez, again, we saw she has got some skill there to move and push the opponent back, but it's too late. The time of the essence now, and it is, as you can see, just about 30 seconds and some change left in this third and vital round. Williams on the cusp of the final. Doesn't want to pick up any injuries, just keeping it sensible. Maybe running through her repertoire there, trying some new stuff. Yeah, I think so. I think she's happy now. She's gained momentum. She's confident. She's enjoying herself. Again, she thrives on this big stage, you know, and with nearly 20-point gap, you're going to try some new things, enjoy it. She's got a family here in the crowd. Yeah, a family affair here for the Williams clan. Will they be celebrating another gold in the Grand Prix 
She will take that gown jump all day as we move into the last reaches of this one. But it's reaching the final. Lauren Williams. Got the crowd in charge of the clock there, and it was Williams in charge for the entirety of that match. Let's hear it from Lauren. Could have scripted that any better. I know you said about Lauren Hall in the centre. Stand there for too long. She holds the centre, but then just wants to go and go and go. A massive force to be reckoned with, and not many people can fight like that. But she's definitely an inspiration to our young girls to show that you can be aggressive, you can fight this way, and, I and being a female as well, because you know you don't really see that. So another again of such a contrast for Lee Dayoon. If you don't fight like Lauren, you can still be a champion and fight like Lee Dayoon. So you've got that such a contrast there so for me these are real good characters and players to look up to for our younger generation yeah i think that's a key point that you make but there's a obviously there's different characteristics different personalities different styles but 